Hello YouTube students, my name is Vincent and today I want to take a look at reflections. I want to look at the problem point A is located at 5, negative 2. The point is reflected in the y-axis. Where is the image of A located? So we could start by plotting the point 5, negative 2 and let's label this point A. And now the goal is to reflect A in the y-axis and find its coordinates. So one way to do this would be to use the equation for a reflection in the y-axis. So to use the equation, when we have some point x, y, a reflection in the y-axis of x, y equals negative x, y. So to reflect in the y-axis, all we need to do is negate the x-coordinate. So let's look at this method first. If we have the point 5, negative 2, a reflection in the y-axis of the point 5, negative 2, when we use this equation, all we need to do is negate the x-coordinate. So this equals negative 5, negative 2. So where is the image of A located? Well, we could call the image of A A prime, and A prime is located at negative 5, negative 2. But I want to investigate more why the image of A is negative 5, negative 2, because this equation really doesn't reveal much about reflections. So let's look at the definition of a reflection. A reflection in line L is a map from A to A prime such that line L is the perpendicular bisector of line segment A A prime. So how is this going to help us if we forgot this equation for a reflection in the y axis? Well, we know that the reflection line is the y axis. And we also know one of our points A. So to find A prime, we know that the y axis has to be the perpendicular bisector of line segment A, A prime. So what we could do is draw a perpendicular line from the point A to the y axis. And now how long is this line? Well, we're at the point 5, negative 2. So the horizontal distance we're traveling is 5, and we could even count it back. We're going 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 units back. So if the y-axis is the perpendicular bisector of line segment A, A prime, that means A prime has to be 5 units away from the y-axis going the other way. So we're going 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 to the point A prime. So now we label this and we could even draw a line segment to the y-axis. And this line segment is also going to be 5 units long. So now it's clear that the y-axis is the perpendicular bisector of line segment A, A prime. But now the coordinates of A prime, well, we're traveling five units to the left and two units down. So if we're going five units to the left, we're going to negative five, negative two, since we're also going two units down. So this is another way to find the coordinates of A prime if we forget the equation for A reflection in the y-axis. Remember, we could always build our answer if we understand the concept. So start at the point A if we're reflecting in the y-axis, go straight back to the y-axis, count how many units, and then go the same number of units away from the y-axis the other way. So our answer, where is the image of A located? We have A prime is located at negative 5, negative 2. Okay, well this is going to conclude this reflection problem as well as this video. Thank you all for watching and I hope that it was helpful.